13 Subtle Mind Tricks Manipulators Use to Gain Control Over You Cunning individuals can display remarkable cleverness. They continually hone their strategies, incorporating effective methods and adjusting them to bypass your defenses. Below, we explore the subtle psychological tactics manipulators employ to influence you. By being vigilant for these crafty techniques, you can stay ahead of those with malicious intentions and safeguard yourself. Keep an eye out for the following signs. 1. Negging. The term negging emerged from the male dating advice industry, specifically the manosphere, several decades ago. Originally, it was a technique advocated by some pickup artists as a way to approach women by blending a subtle insult or judgment with a compliment. For instance, someone might compliment your new shoes but remark that they look super vintage, followed by a playful inquiry about whether they are hand-me-downs, delivered with a hint of mischief. While not overtly offensive, it's a jest with a touch of ill will. As N. Petrangelo elaborates, the strategy involves building up your confidence and then undermining it. This tried-and-true method aims to keep you on shaky ground, proving particularly effective in the presence of witnesses, making it more likely for you to endure the situation with a forced smile. 2. Isolating. Manipulative individuals recognize that someone is more susceptible to their influence when isolated. Consequently, these manipulators frequently engage in subtly undermining the relationships you have with others. Statements like, your brother lacks intelligence, your mom harbors jealousy, your best friend is emotionally unstable, and your colleagues at work don't comprehend you may contain kernels of truth but are conveyed with the intent of diminishing the influence and significance of these individuals in your life. The underlying agenda is to narrow down your circle until only the manipulator remains as the seemingly trustworthy ally. The question to consider is, who stands by you and is genuinely trustworthy when the one imparting this perspective is casting doubt on everyone else? 3. You owe me. Few things are as detrimental as the dynamics of transactional generosity and love. Manipulative individuals often employ this tactic following a seemingly kind or selfless gesture. After some time, they resurface with a request framed as, well, I was thinking. I have this thing I could really use your help on and. While it appears innocuous, this solicitation follows their prior act of kindness, and it's not merely a request, it's a demand for you to reciprocate by serving them. What initially seemed like a benevolent deed reveals itself as a favor laden with invisible strings, and they are now invoking that favor. Furthermore, they take it upon themselves to determine the size and nature of the favor they believe you owe them. 4. Mood Manipulation Manipulators frequently manipulate your emotions, a well-known fact, but the intricacies of how they twist your mood are often not well comprehended. One commonly overlooked method involves deliberately bringing up a topic they know upsets you, feigning innocence as if your disillusionment or irritation is a surprise to them. By doing so, they can redirect the conversation to their liking and leave you in an emotionally vulnerable state, primed to respond to them in the manner they desire. Other subtle strategies employed by manipulators to affect your mood include Inciting jealousy Withholding crucial information from you Eliciting concerns about their well-being but providing vague details Creating emotionally charged, high-stress situations to wear you down 5. The cold shoulder Employing the silent treatment is another potent weapon in the manipulator's toolkit. It might not be immediately apparent, as the cold shoulder can manifest subtly, with the manipulator still engaging in conversation and appearing mostly normal. Yet, akin to depressing the left pedal on a piano, muting half of the strings, this individual exudes a quieter, more withdrawn, and blank demeanor. If you confront them about it, they feign ignorance, questioning what you're referring to, causing you to second-guess yourself, thinking it must all be in your head. 6. Pretend helplessness. While everyone has areas where they may not excel, manipulators have a tendency to exhibit unexpected, helpless moments at peculiar junctures. When seeking your affection or intimacy. When in need of borrowing money from you. When aiming to induce feelings of guilt, prompting you to pursue them in the relationship. It's as if they abruptly recognize their own helplessness and incompetence, leaving you with the responsibility to come to their rescue. 7. Convenient memory lapses. Manipulators have a penchant for conveniently forgetting things that don't serve their interests. Conversely, they exhibit a selective memory, recalling details when it benefits them and insisting that you remember those specifics as well. This pattern of conveniently forgetting and remembering can be highly effective, as challenging someone about their alleged forgetfulness becomes difficult without definitive evidence. 8. Fishing for pity. Manipulators are notorious for adopting a victim mentality to gain an advantage. While this is evident, a more subtle aspect of this manipulation involves subtly eliciting pity by interweaving a subdued victim narrative into ostensibly ordinary conversations and interactions. 
Rather than overtly portraying a, woe is me, demeanor or openly complaining, the manipulator incorporates a seemingly happy anecdote or maintains a composed exterior while infusing the conversation with an underlying sense of doom and gloom. For instance, a manipulating friend might share details about their holidays, expressing enjoyment in seeing family despite ongoing financial and mental health challenges. Without direct follow-up, they continue, subtly alluding to mistreatment during childhood and expressing discontent with their family. The expectation is for you to recognize their victimhood without them explicitly stating it. 9. Double Bind The double bind is a nuanced psychological tactic employed by manipulators, presenting you with a deceptive choice, either choose option A or face option B. The dilemma arises when both options, A and B, are undesirable and equally unappealing in their own right. Despite your reluctance to select either, the manipulator convinces you that there are no alternative options beyond this binary scenario. It's crucial to exercise caution to ensure that the manipulator isn't shaping your decision-making framework in a manner that falsely restricts you, eliminating numerous other options that may exist beyond the presented binary dilemma. 10. Firehose of Falsehood The term, firehose of falsehood, originates from psychological warfare and military operations, describing contemporary strategies to mislead a population by disseminating numerous messages through various channels, many of which are incorrect or only partially true. These messages may align or contradict each other, but the primary objective is to inundate the audience with confusing and misleading information, leading to argumentation, confusion, and selective belief. Manipulators favor this approach because, by bombarding individuals with a multitude of vague and ambiguous statements alongside misleading information, they can wear down their defenses, ultimately prompting them to surrender with a resigned, fine, whatever you say. 11. False Security Establishing a deceptive sense of security is a common maneuver for manipulative individuals, akin to playing the part of the good cop. They might create an atmosphere where you believe they understand and sympathize with you, assuring you that, you can tell me anything. However, once you confide something you did wrong or feel insecure about, they swiftly use that information to gain leverage, inducing guilt or holding it over you. Conversely, manipulators may also resort to unfounded accusations as a tactic to unsettle and disorient you. 12. False Accusations Projection serves as an exceptionally potent tool in psychological manipulation, explaining why manipulators frequently employ it. False accusations represent a common manifestation of projection, as the manipulator often accuses you of actions or thoughts they themselves are engaged in or contemplating. This tactic places you on the defensive, prompting internal questioning about whether you have genuinely erred or, at the very least, requiring you to defend against suspicions being directed your way. For instance, a guy's girlfriend might assertively state, I've seen the way you look at her, while covertly engaging in a risque texting session with someone she recently encountered online. Quite a predicament. 13. Artificial Urgency Manipulators and swindlers flourish in an environment of urgency. In the absence of an imminent crisis, they will exert effort to either fabricate one or convey a sense that urgency is already unfolding. Examples include statements like, if you don't vote for me, this country will literally collapse, or, I need to know if you can lend me the money by tomorrow, I have a meeting with the bank at 3 p.m., okay? Even when there's no scheduled meeting. Be vigilant for these maneuvers, strive to distance yourself from manipulative individuals, and stay attuned to their subtle yet highly corrosive tactics. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.